To use a baseball analogy, we're in the seventh inning stretch right now. We just got it back from paint, so this is where we are right now. We honestly thought in the beginning that we would be cutting the top out and then using that same top as a piece to fill the gap. When we cut it off, we realized that that wasn't gonna work. It's just not meant to be put back together again. And as it turned out, we ended up 3D printing it. We received these panels. The one showed up, had kind of a couple cracks in it and stuff, so we had to fix those. We're in the middle of fixing this one and also fitting them to the car. There we go. It's seated pretty good. I mean, it's close to about 3 16 of an inch or so to get that thing to come in and really be happy with where the overall fitment, I think, is. Now we have to start thinking about latches. You know, how they look is almost as important as how they work. Yeah, we'll do a, a pin or a latch somewhere on this side. And then up here, we're thinking about maybe doing something where it's a slip fit with a little clamp device. That one we're kind of still working on. We took the color of the seats, the color of the interior panel right here, and matched it to the mirror covers. It just makes it a fun little thing that brings the inside of the car to the outside of the car. So we just use it really sparingly. You can see the car behind me, and it looks like it's miles off. Everything has been test fitted. It's gonna look like a completely different animal once we get the wheels, tires, brakes, suspension. Last piece of the puzzle, we'll be painting the roofs and then we'll, uh, we'll have a sport top.